I get a lot of comments from people asking if taking psychedelics is the answer. And on the flip side of that, I get a lot of people outright telling me that I'm wasting my time with these substances and that I should be praying to God or doing yoga or subscribing to some other practice or guru because only that will lead to the answer. And to those people who ask such questions and to those who think they know the answer, let me put my cards on the table. There is no answer and anyone who boldly guarantees to be able to give it to you is lying or is just plain wrong. Psychedelics do not have the answers. Religion does not have the answers. Science does not have the answers. Whichever guru you subscribe to does not have the answers. I certainly do not have the answers. But the answer to what? What's the fucking question? The question is the meaning to your existence, the fabric of your soul, call it whatever you want. It's that thing that's either gonna let you pass peacefully into death, knowing that your life meant something, or that's gonna cause you to scream into the face of oblivion, consumed by emptiness, bitterness, and regret. And if you think that's gonna come from some text on a page of a holy book, or from chewing a few mushrooms, or obediently listening to some guru, then I'm sorry, but you are sorely mistaken. There is no one convenient answer to that. It's something you're gonna to have to figure out for yourself, and it's fucking hard work. I mean, well, duh, no shit, Sherlock. We all know that ayahuasca ceremonies are hard work, and that holding a yoga pose for hours is hard work, and that reading the collected works of Carl Jung is hard work. Yeah, but that's not it. Why are you doing the ayahuasca ceremony? Why are you holding that yoga pose? What do those writings of Carl Jung mean to you? I mean, do you think I could just start doing yoga positions and then suddenly my existence would make total sense? No, but that's because it has no meaning to me. But to someone else, that yoga pose might be the key. But always remember that the value of these tools isn't fundamentally woven into the tool itself. The value only appears when channeled through you. And not every tool is right for every job. I mean, this is obvious. A tractor is not gonna get you to the moon and a space rocket is not gonna be able to harvest your crops. They both have equal value, but to different people in different circumstances. And yeah, if someone tries to sell you a space rocket as the answer to all your transportation problems, then that person is not to be trusted. The instant someone tells you that they have the answer, the only answer, the answer that you need, just walk away, turn it off, close the book. Because what you have there is someone who is peddling bullshit. The real teachers, and they are out there, will acknowledge that each path is just one amongst many and that there is no one size fits all. And most importantly, they will tell you the truth, which is that the only answer is going to come from you. And that answer isn't going to come in a neatly gift wrapped box on your 20th or your 30th or your 40th birthday. Nor is it going to come just by taking psychedelics or by doing a week of silent meditation or whatever. There is no easily consumable bundle which you can unwrap, which will leave you enlightened and fulfilled for the rest of your life. That's just not how this is going to play out. Nor should you want it to, because I think we all know that the day after you get that shiny package, once all the wrapping has come off and you have your new toy, meh. It just becomes another thing and you are just as unfulfilled as you were the day before. So no, that answer is gonna get dragged out of you through a process that there is no map for. You have to make the map for yourself. A psychedelic experience or a guru or a piece of scripture can illuminate a piece of that landscape for you to help you figure out where you're going. But in of itself, it is not the map and any true teacher will tell you that. 
And that is where the real value lies, in picking a direction, exploring the land, finding your own way to a place, to an answer that means something to you. And I hope it doesn't need saying, but I am not one of those teachers, so please don't look to me for any kind of answers. I'm just a fellow traveller, and I'm being honest with you about which path up the mountain I chose to take. And that's what's worked for me. And I'm happy to share all my joys and my pains, the parts where I stopped to admire the view, and the parts where I fell down and had to pick myself back up. And you are welcome to walk that path with me, if you like. But whichever route up your mountain you do take, I hope to see you at the top, and I wish you all the best on your personal journey.